Hey, it's your old pal Lucid Stew again, and I'm back to talk about dreams at PSX 2017. This time we're going to concentrate on logic. I'll be covering things shown by Media Molecule on Sunday the 10th. I wasn't at the show that day, so I'm pulling my information from that day's Twitch stream. Without any further delay, let's begin. MM still hasn't shown any of the complicated stuff I'm looking for, but we're starting to see some tantalizing clues regarding what dreams can do. We're going to look at several menus and try to interpret what we see. Let's start with Atmospherics. Atmospherics has two tabs, one for the sun and one for the sky. The sun tab has five input-output handles. The sky has nine. Anytime you see a handle, it means that variable in the gadget can be changed and or read in real time during gameplay. We can see that we have integer variables like sun brightness and sky image. We also have at least one floating point variable under the sky tab. In addition, we appear to have a boolean visibility variable under the sun tab. But we're just getting started. There are some interesting revelations coming up. We're going to take another look at a menu for a sound. I also talked about this in the last video. Again, we have eight tabs, each with several handles. The long and short is that you'll be able to tweak sound in real time in dreams in extremely complicated ways if you so choose. Now we're going to look at a light and this is where things are going to get interesting. Lights themselves are fairly basic with two different types available, spotlight and area light. Apparent variables present are integer, float, and RGB color. Looks like there may also be a boolean. This right here may be the coolest logic device MM has shown yet. Turns out Action Recorder can be used for far more than just transform information. You can record manual manipulation of any variable in an object. The implications of this are vast. What this means is that any object in the world that doesn't require dynamic code interaction can be coded nearly completely with the action recorder. This also means concepts like interpolation can be accomplished manually and intuitively, just like the examples of transform manipulation already shown to do things like make trees dance to the world soundtrack's beat. This is pretty incredible because it lets people do a lot of different things intuitively that would normally require heaps of really complicated coding. Okay, let's downshift a bit and take a look at a light and color effect gadget. These have five tabs. One thing we get a first look at is a single variable with two input handles. These grid-based variables appear to have an X and Y coordinate that together determine their output. If this is the case, the single output is then an object with two number variables, presumably floats. Also, you can see each tab has quite a few handles, so this gadget is also highly tweakable in real time and also with the action recorder. It will be interesting to see if we can swap out those tweakable visual effects. This one is pretty simple and has been shown quite a bit, but I'm going to cover it for posterity. Target outputs a boolean to an object looking for a boolean input. Easy peasy. The interesting thing, of course, is the logic inside those objects. Hopefully we'll see some soon. The logic behind this setup is pretty simple, but this is the first time they've shown these particular gadgets in this situation. Here MM is hooking up a trigger zone gadget to a camera gadget. Boolean out to Boolean input. Once again, easy stuff. But let's take a look at this trigger zone because it has some nice features. First of all, your zone can be one of six shapes which makes it useful for, for all sorts of things. For instance, you could use that cone shape for a vision sensor. The objects it can detect that I can decipher are player, imp, tag, and camera. No clue what E, L, and O are. Four tabs total on this one and almost everything has a handle, so another highly tweakable gadget. Let's take a look at a timeline gadget real quick. Three tabs, plenty of handles. The thing that you have to remember about timelines is that they can be used for music and animation, and possibly things we haven't even seen yet. So your ability to tweak these in real time is pretty cool. Lots of possibilities. Speaking of possibilities, check out this paint stroke object. This has seven tabs and lots of handles. It tells you a lot about the depths of dreams when a paint stroke has potentially dozens of variables. These are apparently very useful for making visual effects. One last thing of interest, 
Here MM is hooking up a trigger zone to the alpha or opacity of a stroke object. What's so interesting about that? Well, the trigger zone's output is boolean and the alpha variable is an integer ranging from 0 to 100. So the question is, are we seeing implicit conversion from boolean to integer? Or are the objects in dreams templated to accept any kind of input? Either case offers up exciting possibilities. Well, that's all for this time. Hopefully we get more clues soon as Media Molecule is set to restart their live streams sometime soon. See you next time. <laughs>